The lockdowns of spring 2020 have left our economy in the tank, our natural rights in limbo, and conservatives wondering what remains of liberty around the world. The question is a pointed one here in Canada, as the Conservative Party prepares for its leadership vote in August, leaving us questioning whether either frontrunner can counterbalance our nation's leftward lurch. Should those who favor limited government throw in the towel and accept the new managerial liberal state of affairs? Here are some ideas for building a renewed appeal to open-minded Canadians. First, understand our history and traditions. The fight for individual liberty in the Anglo-American tradition stretches back at least to the year 1215, when landowners faced down the English king. That brought the first formal document recognizing our rights, the Magna Carta. This process of evolution continued through the glorious revolution of 1688, the American Declaration of Independence in 1776, and our own colonial Canadian forefathers. They were so focused on liberty, in fact, that Canada abolished slavery half a century before America did. Second, we should be defending today's conservatism as more like modern-day classical liberalism. Conservatives view society not as a state-dominated, singular entity, but akin to an organism distinguished by the free interaction of individuals. This could be conservatives' answer to both middle liberalism, which seeks to replace political rights with economic rights, and managerial liberalism, which turns society into an effective oligarchy ruled by elites who hide behind the machinations of bureaucracy. It's fitting that today's liberals normally prefer the term progressive. What animates progressives today certainly isn't liberty or any real principles, but community-destroying identity politics, an unshakable demand to have all problems managed from the top down, and a belief that humans can be remolded from their intrinsic nature into something new. Conservatives understand that humans are biological beings with a nature that cannot be legislated away or managed out of. Conservatives seek to work with the intrinsic nature of human beings to allow individuals and communities to chart their own path and pursue happiness. That is how we broaden humanity's knowledge, increase our prosperity, and improve our civilization. In Canada's most recent federal elections, conservatives have focused on campaigning the easy way, focused only on winning rather than really governing and leading. But gaining voters can come in more forms than simply following the tides of opinion polls and virtually matching what the Liberals do. The next Conservative Party leader should build his leadership and campaign around the principled message of liberty, prosperity, and limited government for Canadians. The Limited Government Project is not an anti-government movement. It is about understanding what government's limits are and knowing its central jobs are protecting individual rights and maximizing individual freedom, especially in times like ours.